Greetings and salutations. I am Captain Tom Mengesha, United States Army retired and the former adjutant for Base Support Battalion North out of Camp Buren, Kuwait. Folks, what I'd like to do is talk to you about a very serious topic today. I received an email from a service member who was discharged several years ago, and he was discharged under a bad conduct discharge. I also received, coincidentally, another email from a different service member, and they were discharged under another characterization other than honorable. And they want to know what they could do about their situation. What people don't realize is that service in the military is something that is to be taken very seriously. It is something that if you accomplish, you have done something that less than 1% of U.S. citizens are able to do. I don't know if people realize that less than 1% of Americans have actually ever served in the military. So doing that, it comes with a certain prestige. And what happens is when you're in the military and for whatever reason you become disgruntled and you act out or you just decide you want to walk away, you will uh, receive your, your discharge papers and it will be characterized in something other than honorable in most situations. And that will follow you around in many ways. When you apply for certain positions and people will ask, have you ever served in the military? And if you indicate that, yes, you served in the military and you received a discharge rating other than honorable, that can be problematic. Also, there are certain benefits that you cannot get uh, if your characterization is other than honorable. And so people don't generally realize that when they're in the military and they're wanting to end their contract early or for whatever reason they are put out. Well, the good news is, is that there is a process on which someone can ask that their character of service be upgraded from something other than honorable to hopefully honorable. And there are certain things that the boards look at when determining whether or not that is going to happen. And something that I would like to point out, the people that you would file your petition with is the branch of service that you served in. For example, I served in the army and I would not apply for a discharge upgrade with the Marine because they don't have jurisdiction. Now, what do I mean by jurisdiction? Jurisdiction is just a, you know, a fancy spancy word for the ability for someone to have oversight or make rulings or authority over something. And so if there's no jurisdiction to do it, it makes uh, going to them a futile effort because they could hear your claim and they'll wonder why you're there because we have, they would have no jurisdiction to even change uh, your character of discharge. So if you are if you serve in the Air Force, you would appeal to the Air Force Review Board. Uh, if you are serving in the Army, you would do that with the Army, Navy, so on and so forth, Coast Guard, and uh, the Marine Corps. So that is something that you should keep in mind. Now, what are some of the ways or issues that they're going to look at? Well, every, every case obviously would be different, but they're certainly going to, and they certainly should, take every case individually. And some of the issues uh, that they're going to look at is, is what was your overall service like? If, if this was just a, a one-off or something that happened uh, that seemed uncharacteristic, that is something that I'm sure the board would take into account. Also, if you've uh, subsequently been diagnosed or if you left the military through mental health reasons, through post-traumatic stress or other some other type of mental health issues that you've suffered some sort of trauma, that's uh, something that the review board should take into account. Now, all branches of the military will consider you have a strong case for a discharge upgrade if you can show your discharge was connected to mental health, as I ended out, or as I indicated earlier, traumatic brain injury. Uh, for those of you all who, who are unaware of what a traumatic brain injury is, 
uh, it happens if you're in a vehicle or if you're in a in an area and an explosion goes off and there's that concussion. Uh, that is one way in which to receive or hear get a traumatic brain injury. Or if you're a victim of sexual assault, uh, there are obviously if you are a victim of sexual assault that will cause your character uh, to change and you may act out accordingly and they may misinterpret your lack of enthusiasm as something other than what it truly is and that is you're suffering from the horrible experience of being sexually assaulted so that if you if you see a theme here it, it deals with markers of showing that you are a wonderful service person um, but there was something that happened that caused uh, your character to to shift all of those things uh, I'm sure a board would take into consideration. Now, what I would encourage all of you all to do is contact your branch and determine where the closest review board is held and ask them to contact and connect you with experts in the area of discharge upgrades. Well, I hope that answered the viewers' questions. And if you have any other questions dealing with military or military life, go ahead and leave a comment down below or feel free to reach out to me at asktheadjutant at gmail.com. So with that, I wish you all blessings and blessings. Shalom. He will fight for your rights.